I'm the president of the SD student chapter of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, which is based in Northern Greece. That's my crew. Finally, we are free to organize a field. After negative COVID tests and full of positive vibes, we are ready to start our trip. We are heading to the place where gold deposits of the river Galikos. So, let's go! The Galikos River is located 40 km north of Thessaloniki in the Kilkis prefecture of northern Greece. After half an hour drive, we met Alkiviadis Sideridis, PhD candidate of the Department of Geology at the University of Patras. Alkiviadis comes from Kilkis and is experienced in panning. Today, he will guide us to the old exploitation sites and he will introduce us to the panning process. Ever since I can remember myself, my grandmother, residents of Galikos Riverside Villages, used to recount stories about the latest mining activities. She was amazed by the size of the drains, the huge piles of barren river material, and the development of the first electricity network in the region. Until recently, all we had was these stories. But the interest about the Placer Gold has reignited once more. Few local people have returned to the village and they are trying the gold panning method. They are mainly using pans, sluices and even small trenches. The Halikos River springs from the Crucia Mountains, crosses the Kilkis and Thessaloniki prefectures and after 70 kilometers ends in the Aegean Sea. The ancient Greek historians Herodotus and Strabo called this river Hedoros, meaning the one which carries gifts because of the large quantities of placer gold in the alluvial sediments. The Galikos River drains the Vertiscos unit. The Vertiscos unit is a northwest trending polytectonic and polymetamorphosed tectonic and basement unit stretching from the Greek North Macedonian border to the Chalkidic Peninsula. The Cenozoic igneous evolution is characterized by four magmatic pulses spanning from late Paleocene to Pliocene. Several porphyry, epithermal, scarn, carbonate replacement, and vein type mineralizations occur in the Vertiscos unit and are genetically associated with the oligocene myosin magmatism. These deposits are enriched in base, precious and critical metals. Gold is associated with most of the mineralizations and it is found in free and refractory forms. Native gold is mainly associated with pyrite, chalcopyrite and arsenopyrite. We are now standing at the Galikos River bank. The water flow is low as this is the dry season. Since Pleistocene, the river has transferred and deposited a large amount of eroded materials in the lowlands, forming gold placers of various sizes. The flow rate is very important for gold entrapment. In places where the velocity decreases, heavy minerals are accumulated much more quickly than the light ones. Their higher density makes them more resistant to entrainment by flowing water. This hydrodynamic sorting leads to the formation of heavy mineral concentrates and eventually to placers. Gold in Galikos is found as flakes and rarely as nuggets, reaching 1 cm in size, while the riverbed hosts up to 0.3 grams of gold per cubic meter. The Galikos gold placers have been extensively exploited since the antiquity. Round fleece, a technique traced back to the story of the golden fleece in Greek mythology, was implemented as gold traps until the beginning of the 20th century. Ram fleeces were submerged in the stream and gold flakes poured down from upstream placer deposits. As a result, gold trapped in the fleece and after drying it, the gold could be recovered. Gold from Gallicos contributed to the rise of Philip II the Macedon, father of Alexander the Great, highlighting the economic significance of the placer deposits during the 4th century BC. The previous exploitation took place during the 50s. Edreja produced a considerable amount of 1,355 kilograms of gold from the alluvial sediments at a distance of 14 kilometers along the river. Nowadays, the deposits are considered sub-economic, although extensive exploration projects are missing. However, they offer a great opportunity to study the processes that form gold placers and practice panning. Digging should be done across the meanders, since gold deposition occurs parallel to the riverbanks. 
high concentrations of gold are usually found beneath clayly layers. What we are trying to achieve with gold panning is the sorting of the materials in the pan. The heaviest, gold and magnetite, are associated with local ore deposits, whereas garnet is a component of the local bedrock. Another way to find gold is the use of magnet in order to collect the abundant magnetite, which will entrain some of the gold particles. And an eight hour of hard work could yield up to a gram of gold.